Hey guys, today I have the one and done palette from ColourPop and I grabbed one of the Fresh Kiss lip lacquers because I don't think they've done lip lacquers before and I wanted to check it out. So I got the color Dice House. I'll just swatch that one real quick so that we can see what this is about. So they're in containers that are similar to like the I'm um, trying to think what came out in this, uh, the lip stains that they did with the Avatar collection. Um, but I got like the, this is a nudie, nudish color, kind of like a pinky nude, I guess. Let's see. I'm guessing that this is like a, it smells like vanilla. Um, let's see. Oh, I didn't grab any wipes. I'm going to have to grab a wipe, but... So it's kind of like a shiny liquid lipstick, I'm guessing. It's pretty pigmented. It's very similar in color to the lipstick that, one of the lipsticks that just came out with the Star Wars collection, because I actually have that lipstick on my lips today and it looks very similar, so. I gotta hit some of this on over it. I know you can't see me right now, but. It's kind of like a creamy liquid lipstick. Like, I don't think this is gonna be one of those ones that is totally transfer proof or anything because it feels kind of sticky. It feels like a creamy lip gloss but it's very pigmented as you can see from the swatch there. It is a pretty color though so I think I will enjoy this. But packaging is really cute. It has a little horseshoe on it. I just wanted to try one of those out. I do like like the neon pink on the on the packaging too. I have to go grab some wipes so I will be right back. So there is only one color in here that has that little asterisk next to it. It is the one on the bottom left called High Roller. So it's this hot pink down here. Which is understandable because hot pinks usually stain. But this is a pretty palette. This is a 12 pan palette. It's got the, the bigger pans in there. I'm not sure what the the diameter of these pans is. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to compare it to like other things that I have and they're the larger pans that are in like the so they are the larger pans like um like the Avatar palette that recently came out in Daisy Does It. Those were the last like bigger palettes that came out that have the same size as these pans. <laughs> so I'm gonna just get into the swatching. The first one here is Cowgirl. This is a very pretty white gold. They tend to do this color a lot, but it's one of those colors I always like. Oh, that was my printer. <laughs> it's one of those colors I always like to have as an all over lid color. And it makes a really good inner corner highlight too. And then we have Lasso. So this is one of those colors that has a matte base with teeny tiny gold micro glitter in there. It's just a matte, pale, yellowy peach with tons of that gold micro shimmer. Then Spur Thing. That's a matte, pale pink. Just like a bubblegum pink. It felt a little dry, but I'm surprised it's pretty pigmented. I thought it was going to be chalky. Um, City Limits. This one's very soft. That is a matte, kind of like a beigey tan color. So that's the first row. Very light. What's going on with my lighting? It's just a very light first row. Mostly neutral, but it's got that pop of pink in there. Then we've got, this middle row is all metallic, so we have High Horse. This is, with the, 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 the. <laughs> this is like a metallic, goldy bronze color. That's pretty and like crazy pigmented. It's more of a copper, I guess. Like a golden copper. Um, you Bet. This is like a metallic rose gold.
Then these boots. That is a somewhat metallic hot pink. It's more of a shimmer. It doesn't have that crazy metallic finish to it like those other two do. And the last color in this row is Coattails. This is one of those hard to describe colors <laughs> because it's got like a like a mauvey base but a really strong turquoisey shift to it. I guess that's the best way to describe it because it's just a weird color but it's really pretty. It's also one that they've done a lot of times before though so if you have a palette with these colors you probably don't need this one as with every color palette that every color pot palette that comes out I feel like I say that lately but yeah that is the middle row all metallic shades really pretty colors though and then the bottom row here is all mattes so you have kind of a mix in the top row, then all metallics, and then all mattes on the bottom. I, d I like the color story of this. I think it's very cohesive. You can get a lot of looks out of it because it's got the, the darks and the light colors and everything. Um, I really like this pink though. This is called High Roller. It feels very dry. Probably gonna stain. It's like crazy hot pink. It's not even showing up on my viewfinder how hot pink it looks in person. <laughs> I think I grabbed too much of it. It's probably gonna stain, but it's really pretty. And then, yep, stained my finger at least. I'll grab another wipe. Um, bingo. This one feels kind of dry too. That is a matte, kind of like. It's almost got a yellow tinge to it, like a burnt ochre type color. <laughs> Very pigmented though. And then we have, geez, that one wants to stain too. That brown stained over the pink is just staining the crap out of my finger. Um, the West, this is just a matte chocolate brown. Very soft, another color they do all the time. And then, of course, the last one is the darkest one. That one's called Gold Digger. Don't know why they wouldn't have called the more golden color the Gold Digger one, but <laughs> sometimes their name choices don't make sense in these palettes. Maybe it's Gold Digger because you're like digging in the dirt or something, I don't know. But this is just a really dark, dark, dark brown. And it's a matte and I grabbed too much of it. So that is the bottom row. Let's see if I can get this off without it staining my hand. Even that last one stained too, this bottom row. All of them except this brown wanted to stain my finger. So <laughs> this is me trying to get it off very forcefully. That bottom row is just like full of staining colors here. Yeah. I'm gonna put, I always keep this little, this is like a sample size of pharmacy makeup remover. I keep it on my desk for when I'm doing swatch videos because it usually helps when I have stubborn ones like this that don't wanna come off. Yeah, see, it's already pulling some of it up. I do have a full size of their cherry makeup remover in the bathroom that is like my holy grail makeup remover, but this little sample size one came with something from Beautylish and I just use it all the time for taking swatches off my hand. See, it got everything else off and then most of that pink, so it's a really good makeup remover if you've never tried it. It is kind of on the pricey side for the full size one, but it's so worth it because it lasts a really long time and works really well. It's just called Green Clean, but the one I have is the, the cherry one. It smells like uh, cherry almond. So, after I went off on a tangent about makeup remover, <laughs> this is a really pretty palette. I say it every time, but if you have colors like this from ColourPop already, it's not a needed palette. Sorry for the noise, friggin' traffic today. 
Um, it's not one you definitely need, but it's a really pretty color story. If you like pinks, this is definitely a palette for you because there's four pinks in here. The super hot pink, the rose gold, the kind of fuchsia pink, and then the bubblegum pink. But I like pink and brown together, so I tend to really like this color story. Um, I hope this swatch video was helpful for you guys, and let me know if you got anything from this collection. I don't think it was a very big collection. They had like three or four of these Fresh Kiss lip lacquers. They had this and then a couple blushes, I think. Maybe a few highlighters, but I don't know. I have so much blush and highlighters that I haven't... I've been trying not to buy blush and highlighters, but like I have a bajillion eyeshadow palettes and I shouldn't be buying those either. But these swatch videos seem to be helpful for everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video.